Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for BeerGigNation.com. Today we are looking at a brewery, I don't know that I've ever reviewed anything from them, from Nikasi out of Eugene, Oregon. This is their Ground Control Imperial Stout. It's a 10% Imperial Stout brewed with Oregon hazelnuts, star anise, and cocoa nibs. And the trick to this one, and it's kind of cool, kind of gimmicky, I'm not sure which one is better. They sent a batch of brewer's yeast into space, retrieved it, and then fermented the beer with that. So that's why it's called Ground Control. It comes with this beautiful box. You can pick it up at craftcity.com. The presentation is absolutely awesome. It's a 3D box. I'm, I'm kind of blown away by it a little bit. I've never seen um, such a, 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 an elaborate, I guess, uh, beer. So I love an Imperial Stout. Sure, space yeast, why not? Let's get into a glass. Let you guys know what it smells, tastes, and get the final verdict on the Ninkasi Ground Control. I got to the aroma on the ground control. Wow, big chewy fudge, hazelnut, chocolate, coffee, roastiness, dark cherry, fig, raisins. A really, really dark fruit forward imperial stout. Nice stuff. All right, so the taste on the ground control. Cheers. Yeah, a lot of hazelnut. Sweet right at the front of the tongue, milk chocolate, coffee. It's almost like a, uh, like a cappuccino type of coffee, sweetness. Middle of the mouth, big roasty characteristics, dark fruit. I'm getting lots of cherry, raisin, a little bit of fig, kind of uh, juiciness in there. Uh, definitely getting the star anise, kind of a black licorice. Uh, very subtle, but definitely there, playing off the roastiness uh, from the roasted malts. Um, not getting any space quality. No, just, just kidding. Uh, it's a really kind of uh, chewy, fudgy imperial stout. A little bit of sweetness, not cloying at all. Uh, in the back, uh, again, a, a kind of a residual milk chocolate, dark chocolate, cocoa uh, type of sweetness in there. Again, a little star anise, a little of the hazelnut lingering around. A really, it sticks with you. It's big, it's, it's fudgy, it, it's sticky. It's a really, really nice tasting 10% Imperial Stout. All right, that's the final verdict on the Nikasi Ground Control 10% alcohol by volume available now. You can get it at craftcity.com. Guys, gonna give this one a B plus. It's big, it's fudgy, it's chocolatey, it's chewy. Um, it's kind of un unrelenting, I guess is the word I wanna use about, about the flavor profile. It just coats your mouth and keeps on coating and coating. It's definitely a sipper, a sipper definitely a 10% beer. You can taste the alcohol sweetness. Uh, it's pretty sweet, so if you don't like sweet beers, you know, this one is on the sweeter side of things, but it's really, really nice. There's a lot going on and it ultimately all does come together. You know, does the yeast going into space add anything? Who the hell knows and who really cares? It's a really good beer. It's a B plus beer. If you love Imperial Stouts, if you like hazelnut and things. I'm really getting the hazelnut off this one. Don't worry too much about the star anise, the black licorice, if you're not into that. It's it's very subtle and there really to highlight the, the other accents of the beer. It's a nice drinking beer. Getting a B plus from me and remember folks, slice too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers. Mm. 